right. So, kind of filming this after the fact, uh, the Solar Bear Challenge video that, or addendum to this video was filmed a couple of days ago. Uh, I just totally fucked up what I wanted to talk about. So, I'm doing it again. Um, Ozarks, 2012. We are going to be staying at The Hub. It's a couple of miles north of... Uh, anyway, it's the one I was talking about. It's, it's up near the Missouri state line. It's it's a decent ways. I think Wilkes said that it added about an hour to his trip up there. Uh, it adds about an hour to mine, maybe an hour and a half. Um, it's north of Jasper. Just go on Google Maps and find Jasper, Arkansas. Uh, zoom out a little bit and, and scroll. Set it up so that you have Jasper on the bottom of the screen and the uh, state line on the top of the screen. And then just type in the, T-H-E, hub, H-U-B. Uh, and it'll come up. I can't remember the name of the town that it's not even in. Uh, <laughs> the town that it's in has a population of like 12. Um, it's supposed to be a really awesome place. It is very cheap. If uh, you stay alone, I think it's about 35 or 40 bucks. But if you have one roommate in a double occupancy room, it or two roommates in a triple occupancy room, it, you know, so there's three of you, you know, one for each bed. Uh, it's something like 25 bucks a person. And it's hard to beat that, you know. Uh, we'll figure the food thing out when we get there. Ardell was saying that there's some, some uh, restaurants in a town that's like maybe eight or ten miles away, which I think is about as far as Jasper is. Uh, it's only about a 10 or 15 minute ride. I just am not real fond of the idea of having to ride to eat breakfast and then ride, you know, and then gather up again, it just complicates things, but whatever. Um, I'm not going to do a hardcore itinerary, you know, I am going to say that I'd like to be out and riding, you know, on the road by like nine or 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, which means you'll probably have to get up around seven or eight, actually probably around seven, which I know seems kind of early. But um, you don't really want to be riding out there at night. You don't want to be riding those roads at dusk, really. There's deer and shit everywhere. Hell, a couple of years ago, we come around a corner and there were fucking cattle standing in the middle of the road. You know, if it would have been dark, we would have seen them. So that's one of the main reasons why I'd like to get back, you know, before dawn. Or dawn. Yeah, let's get back before dawn. Uh, yeah, you want to get back before dusk, just for the for the sake of safety, you know. Um, it's it's not that hard to get up kind of early, and every other uh, big meetup I've been on the ride usually departs around nine or ten o'clock in the morning. Um, the difference is those usually have you uh, eating breakfast on your own. Uh, in the Ozarks, we tend to eat as a group. You, you don't have to, you know, if, if you don't want to, that's fine. We aren't going to force you to go somewhere and eat with us. It's just we tend to keep the group together. So uh, it, it works out a little bit better uh, in my eye. But, yeah, you can basically plan on getting up around 7 or 7.30 uh, and, and rolling out of the hotel uh, maybe around 8. Go down, spend an hour eating breakfast. BSing with everybody and making fun of Tracy in his uh, suit and then hit the road and we'll come up with some routes I'll talk to Ardell who knows the area really well and, and I'll show him what I'm thinking and get his input on it um, if there's anything that you guys specifically would like to do or see or return to or not return to you know any input now is the time um, a week before the meetup is, is a really shitty time to be saying, oh, hey, let's go do this because, you know, everything's already been planned and everybody's already on board with what's going on. It just, you know, don't wait till the last minute. Uh, that should be about it. I don't have the hub's phone number. Um, it's, it's really easy to get, you know, you Google it and it'll come up. Just call them, make your reservation soon. 
uh, get on Moto Vlog, find the thread, and uh, start talking with people, you know, who needs roommates, who wants roommates, who doesn't want roommates, um, who's already made reservations, you know, shit like that. I may be looking for one roommate, but I'll pro if so, I'll probably just join in with somebody else. Um, I have someone who may or may not be going with me, so if she goes, you know, we'll have our own room. If not, uh, maybe I'll catch a room with Wilkes or Matt or somebody. Ah, Toast. Toast was an interesting roommate. Um, he's not too scared of me. <laughs> anyway, uh, you, I'm sure you guys can figure this one out. You know, find yourself roommates if you want. Don't if you don't. But uh, get on the phone and make your reservations soon. I'm sure they have a decent uh, cancellation policy. So if you're up in the air as to whether or not you're going to be able to go, go ahead and make a reservation. And then if you can't go, cancel it. You know, it happens. They understand. They expect it. Uh, that should be about it. We'll get back to the two-day-old video of me do, being a dumbass. And, yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, so here we are at one of the more highly trafficked intersections in this immediate area. And that round sign right there should be the one I'm looking for. Although there's also one right up there. So, road markings don't count, unfortunately. Railroad crossing. Damn, this bitch is all cracked and faded. Time to replace it. God, there's traffic all over the place. So, trespassing for hunting. Okay. Right. So, in front of everybody, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, one solar bear, solar bear, solar bear. Solar bear, solar bear, two solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear, three. <sighs> okay, I'm off.